Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this time trial guide showing how you can complete the time trials from July 9th until July 15th. Starting off with the RC Bandito time trial for this one, obviously you're going to need an RC Bandito in order to be able to do this one. The time trial itself isn't too difficult, but you can start out by going as fast as you can. However, whenever you reach this point, you might want to let go of your acceleration a bit so you don't have your RC Bandito flying all over the place. Heading up to the construction site itself, you really don't want to go too fast or else you'll be sent flying the wrong direction. The same thing goes for all the other ones, you really just want to let go of your acceleration as you go up these ramps to make sure that you don't actually use it as a ramp. In this one in particular, it might even be a good idea just to use your brake ever so slightly and after that when you're all the way up the top, you can go as fast as you can. And the only bit you really have to worry about is this bit right here where there is no protection from you falling off. Heading back into the construction site itself though, you'll be met with a pillar which most of the time you probably will hit because you don't really see it coming. That's totally fine, just hit it if you need to slow down a little bit more and just continue on as normal. The rest is pretty straightforward, just follow whatever is happening on your screen. Don't go too fast on the ramp again and just simply drive your way to the finish line. Personally, I finished it with six seconds to spare, so you shouldn't have to worry about going a little bit slower than you normally do. Moving on to the regular time trial. Now this one, in my opinion, is one of the easier ones. It's literally just following the road and that's all you have to do, really. In the footage, I'm using a Batty 801, which I like to use in the footage because of newer players. But in my personal opinion, I think using a car in this one is going to be the better choice. Primarily because you can have more consistent speed and the corners that you have to take won't lose you that much speed at all. So for that reason and for more consistent speed, I would go with a car over the Batty 801. However, if you have to take a corner, by all means, make sure to also lean forward in your bike to gain some additional speed. But other than that, it really isn't that difficult at all. So if you have something like a Divesti 8 or Pariah or any super or sports car with a decent top speed, you'll be more than fine. And when you take the jump out with the Batty, make sure to slow down a significant amount so you don't fall off your bike. You will have plenty of time to do it. Even in the footage that I did, and slowing down as much as I did personally, I had 7 seconds to spare. So, don't worry about this one too much. A very easy $100,000 up for grabs, so make sure to go out there and do it. But with all that said and with all that done, that was it for this one. Thank you all so very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all later.